Hi, welcome to my first video in ML Explained series. Today I wanted to talk to you about Monte Carlo integration. I think it's a cool concept to know and I hope you'll learn a new technique or two in this video. In the first half of the video we'll look at some math behind Monte Carlo integration and in the second half we'll look into a fun example of estimating the value of pi. Let's begin. Our goal is to evaluate an integral of f of x dx, where x ranges from a to b. You're probably familiar with Riemann sum integration, in which the space is partitioned into intervals, and a rectangle is constructed for each interval with height equal to the function value at a specific point within the interval. What's different in Monte Carlo integration is we have a sampling distribution, p of x, from which we draw samples and evaluate our function f of x at those samples. Let's define p of x as our sampling distribution, in our case uniform distribution over the interval a, b. Then we can rewrite our integral as follows. We multiply and divide by b minus a without changing the integrand. We group the first two terms into w of x and the third term is our sampling distribution. Now by definition, we recognize this expression as an expectation with respect to distribution p of w of x. And finally, we can rewrite this as an average of w x i's where x i's are drawn from our sampling distribution p of x. Let's take a closer look at the expression on the slide. Here we are taking expectation of w of x and approximating it as an average of samples w x i drawn from a uniform sampling distribution. In general, for any distribution p of x, this expression is known as Monte Carlo expectation. Let's look at a fun example of using Monte Carlo expectation to estimate the value of pi. We know that the area of a circle is pi r squared. Alternatively, we can compute the area of a circle as follows. We sample points from uniform distributions along x and y axes, and we define an indicator function, which is equal to 1 whenever the sampled point is inside the circle of radius r, and 0 otherwise. We then sum up over all points that fall inside the circle. To estimate the value of pi, we substitute our Monte Carlo integral for the area of the circle. Here we see the average of w x i y i, where x i and y i are independent and identically distributed samples from uniform distribution between minus r and r. Let's take a look at that Python notebook to see how good our estimate is. Let's take a look at the notebook. I included the link to the notebook in the description below. Since we covered the theory, let's just jump straight to the code. We start off by importing NumPy and matplotlib libraries and fixing the random seed for reproducible results. Let's set the radius to 1 and the number of samples to 10,000. Next, we generate samples x and y from uniform distributions and compute our indicator function, which is equal to 1 if points fall inside the circle of radius r and 0 otherwise. Next, we compute the samples and compute Monte Carlo expectation as the average of the samples. Finally, to estimate pi, we divide the area estimated by r squared and we compute the standard error in our estimate, which is equal to sigma over square root of n. Let's run the cell and see what we get. Not too bad, we're getting 3.14 within the error bounds. We can then visualize the results by plotting the sample points with accepted points shown in blue and rejected samples in red. 
And here we go, we got our estimate of pi using Monte Carlo expectation. Hope you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe and looking forward to seeing you in the next one.